playing Seuss Fun. I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me. Uh, oh, lights. The, uh, and, so, and, and, so, and so the story of the Texas Women's Water Collecting, there's many stories, of course, but, but my son, uh, his son was asked one day, he said, you know, most people only bring home one young lady to meet the family. You bring home 16. And he said, I'm just an overachiever. <laughs> Yeah, for about five or six years, we had every spring break with the uh, with a group of delightful Texas women who came to California to play water polo. So uh, I thought I, if there's people out there, I have trouble seeing because of the uh, because of the lights. But I assume there are. Uh, I hear some noises. So uh, what I thought I'd do is tell you today a little bit about uh, Olaf Metathesis, which is a topic we've been working on for a long time, and. Uh, and uh, then to uh, show you a few things you've done along the way where it's being used and then show you what we're doing right now and the kinds of problems we're facing. And then so metathesis is actually a reaction that was discovered first as a heterogeneous catalyzed reaction. It was discovered partially by accident by uh, a group at Phillips who were trying to polymerize propylene. And uh, they treated the catalyst in one way you can make polypropylene. The other way uh, you started making ethylene and 2-butene. So it was a reaction which scrambled the uh, fragments of a carbon-carbon double bond. And then later on, uh, there were homogeneous catalysts found for a similar reaction, and eventually they were put together, and everyone realized it was the same reaction. And that allows you to scramble olefins in many different environments, and I'll show you some of those. And so here, here's, the, here's the reactions where you take a carbon-carbon double bond, and you break the pieces apart. We now know the mechanism, and that's really what attracted me to this reaction in the first place. And really one of the things that got me into catalysis is that I'd grown up as a physical organic chemist doing organic mechanisms. And it turns out that in catalysis, it's the ultimate challenge for doing mechanisms. Things are much more complicated than they are in most organic reactions. And so I found it really great fun to get into. And so this was one of the first ones we started working on and trying to understand how this reaction progresses. And so I think everyone now agrees that the fundamental steps are the same. It's a metal carbon double bonded species, whether that's homogeneous or on the surface. Uh, people are now, uh, Dix Rocks group and other groups are now making uh, surfaces with metal carbon double bonds uh, that are attached to the surface. They react with carbon carbon double bonds making an olefin complex. That then forms a form of a green by coupling the carbons. You then reverse the reaction along with a pseudo-symmetry axis either the starting materials or go all over the products and etc. So you see you do two cycles and you start with, with two reds, with a red and a blue, and you end up with two mixed ones. And so, and so the whole key to this, once the mechanism was, was developed and everyone settled on this, was finding catalysts that would allow this to happen. And so, so a good part of the exploratory work in, in developing new catalysts has, has come in the, the homogeneous area, and that's what we've worked in. Say there's no work going on in other areas, and I'll show you sort of an interface later on. So, uh, whenever uh, this reaction was, was first announced uh, and, and people started getting excited about it, uh, there was discussion about it being a molecular dance. And this fund was asked by, uh, by the national television in Hungary to, to, to make a, a video showing what this was all about. So he suggested this morning that it might be worthwhile to show that, it, that you know, the chemistry can dance, that catalysis is easy to show. And so basically, I'll take you through a couple of slides and then we'll do a video. And so this is the key. And so the lady in black is the key. That's the metal. And then these are all carbon fragments. So we got red carbon fragments and blue carbon fragments. Okay, there's the metal carbon double bond. We're holding hands. And so, and so they pair up, and then they form a forward ring, and then they split, and then they start doing it again, okay? And so if you just keep doing that, sort of like a square dance, one can end up doing it, and then here's the video, which I've got to get a better quality one, but this shows the point. So this is the lady in black, who's obviously the most important part. Uh, colors are not too good, but here's the, here's the red and blues dancing around, taking a little uh, artistic license and what double bonds do. Uh, oops, now they form a form of green, now they split. You see, it's so easy, you can just miss it. Now here's a, here's a black and red together, and then here comes a blue, and there we go, transition stick.